Hi everyone and welcome back to ESMO 2025. I will provide some highlights on breast cancer and the trials that were presented here at ESMO 2025. So I have selected some key abstracts for each breast cancer subtype. So hormone receptor positive, HER2 negative breast cancer, HER2 positive breast cancer and triple negative breast cancer. So uh, starting from hormone receptor positive, HER2 negative breast cancer, I have selected the results of the Monarchy trial. Monarchy was a randomized phase three trial that tested the role, uh, the addition of adjuvant abemacyclib to adjuvant endocrine therapy for patients with a high risk hormone receptor positive HER2 negative breast cancer. The Monarchy trial was a positive trial that led to the approval of adjuvant abemacyclib in this setting. And at ESMO, we had the chance to hear uh, of the primary overall survival results of Monarchy. So these results confirm a statistically significant and clinically meaningful improvement in overall survival with the addition of adjuvant abemacyclib. So these are very important results uh, that are somehow reassuring and that support uh, the use of uh, adjuvant uh, abemacyclib in our uh, clinical practice. Concerning uh, HER2 positive breast cancer, so here I've selected the two abstracts, uh, actually, the results uh, of Destiny Breast 11 uh, and the results uh, of Destiny Breast 05. Uh, why I've selected these abstracts? Well, because these are the two trials uh, that uh, uh, actually set off the entrance of uh, Trastuzumab de Ruxtecan in the early setting for HER2 positive breast cancer. So Destiny Breast 11 uh, tested the Trastuzumab de Ruxtecan in the neoadjuvant setting and Destiny Breast 05 in the post-neoadjuvant setting. Both uh, studies uh, are positive, so we're talking uh, about uh, practice-changing results. Of course, there are many uh, open questions that remain. For instance, uh, if we have uh, available Trastuzumab de Ruxtecan both in the neoadjuvant setting and in the post-neoadjuvant setting, how we would choose between the two, but still we're talking about very important results that will certainly change the way that we treat HER2 positive breast cancer in the next future. Concerning a triple negative breast cancer, also here I've selected two abstracts. So the results of ASCENT 03 and the results of Tropion Breast 02. Both the trials are focusing in the first line setting for patients with advanced triple negative breast cancer where immunotherapy is not an option. So namely patients with PDL1 negative disease or patients who are ineligible to receive uh, immune checkpoint inhibitors. So in ASCENT 03, uh, this was a trial that tested the role of Sacituzumab govitecan in first line versus chemotherapy. And this uh, trial showed a significant improvement in progression-free survival. Tropion Breast 02 uh, tested the role of uh, Datopotamab de Ruxtecan in first line versus chemotherapy. And this uh, trial showed an improvement both in PFS and OS, as this was uh, the dual primary endpoint. Of course, the two trials have slightly slight differences in the characteristics of the patient population that was included in the endpoints that were analyzed. Uh, one trial, ASCENT-03, allowed a crossover while this was not allowed in the Tropion Breast-02. But still, we are talking about, again, very important results, results that are practice changing and especially important because they focus uh, on a population that still represents a very high unmet clinical need. So in conclusion, I must say that uh, this uh, ESMO 2025 has been a terrific uh, ESMO for all breast oncologists. Uh, and uh, we saw so many uh, practice changing uh, results uh, that will certainly change the way that we treat breast cancer in the next future.